Well, firefighters who were battling the fire at the Hoopston, Illinois tire plant on Wednesday got some unexpected help from Purdue, uh, Purdue University. News 18 videographer David DeLong shows us a firefighting robot in development that got its first field test during the fire. A call from the Champaign Fire Department came in to Purdue Fire Chief Kevin Ply Wednesday asking for assistance fighting the fire at JNR Used Tire Service in Hoopston. The help they got was definitely not what they expected. Some of the firefighters, both career and volunteer, from the many departments that were there, were a little skeptical. But once we uh, were able to uh, deploy it inside the structure and they were able to see it in operation, uh, and the uh, impact it was making on the fire, it was, it was very impressive. Ply, along with two other Purdue firefighters, took their prototype firefighting robot to help fight the fire. We were able to deploy it in an area that uh, had uh, fire involvement uh, to the point where we had a partial building collapse. Uh, it was an area that we were not going to be able to put a human firefighter in uh, due to the risk of injury. Professor and Purdue's College of Technology Eric Dietz is helping develop the robot for a Korean company. He says the use the fire department was able to get out of it is invaluable. This is what you dream of if you're doing research. You want to get the user to actually uh, you know, give you an operational test. That's kind of what we had. We had some things that we see that need to get tweaked. Ply says they ran the robot for nearly four hours of use, running the battery dead. Now there appears to be some sort of glitch in the software causing the hose to do this without being told to. Provide that feedback back to the researchers so that Eventually, the production model would be even more um, sustainable. This is also an important economic development opportunity because the Koreans didn't just want us to do research. They also were starting to talk to us how we might be able to uh, relocate a company here. Reporting at Purdue University, David DeLong, News 18. Chief Ply says there are still some issues they would like to work out, including rapid battery charging and the ability to change out the battery in the field. You can see the full video of the robot in use at WLFI.com.